My family's been a little bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> I remember in the fifth grade, the cafeteria workers were, you know, upset because of their low wages. And so I led a student walk out in support of cafeteria workers. And I remember, you know, in the sixth and seventh grade, writing papers about feminism, although I didn't know what to call it then. I feel like I've always had this sense of social justice. It's the way I was raised. It comes from my community that if you can, you should. It's not an option not to do it. I've always, always known that I've wanted to do something that would make a real difference in terms of gender equity, in terms of people's lives. And I think when I came to NC State, I had the capacity to academically connect and to figure out exactly how I would live out that passion. You know, I didn't grow up having a lot, and I think it's made me work harder to try to get some of those experiences. For example, three years ago, I got on a plane and moved to Cairo, Egypt not speaking the language, not knowing a soul there. There's really no substitute for listening to people talk about their own experiences and what their own hopes and vision are for themselves. Gender is in everything, and so in a way it makes what I do so broad um, that I couldn't ever possibly do it all. One person and a group of people can't possibly do it all, but it's such important work. So it's just you know moving that conversation one step forward I'm so excited about what I do.